Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is B, and I do videos all about luxury, beauty, and fashion. So if you're into any of those three things, then go ahead and click on that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you can get notified every time I release a new video. All right, so today you guys are in for a treat. I'm going to be doing a highly requested video. I was actually supposed to do this video back in February, but life got a little crazy. So if you're one of my subscribers looking at me sideways, I completely understand. I have been MIA, guys. But I will say it was for a good reason. Your girl was in her final semester of grad school and I officially graduated and got a job. I'm currently a high school counselor. Um, I got hired a few weeks ago, a little before graduation. Um, so I'm super excited about this new journey. I can't wait to share that with you guys as well. Um, so stay tuned for a lot more content. So enough of the updates. Um, I'm going to give you guys exactly what you came here for. Um, we are going to unbox my YSL Small Lulu bag. Um, but I will say if you follow me on social media, then you know that this box not this box this bag has been unboxed already but you know to keep things as close to a true unboxing as possible I'm gonna still show you guys like the packaging and everything and we'll just pretend that this is you know the first um, real unboxing so if you are familiar with YSL then you know that the bag they use is like a rectangular bag it's not square like the other brands and it just says Saint Laurent on the front um, and inside of it is this box and it was packaged all pretty guys um, but you know I couldn't wait I just had to use it but I could film so this kind of happened guys um i did like you know take it out and i've been using it for a while but it was in this packaging and it had this pretty paper it was like wrapped all night nice. and then it had this envelope which had my receipt from the store and it also has um my essays information and essay is just like the sales associate that um, work with me. So if you're looking to shop at the design district in Miami, then I have an essay that I can recommend for you. And um, let me see, I think there was something else. Oh yeah. My bag also came with um, this little envelope and it has the authentication card, I believe it is. It has like all of these numbers on here, so my best guess is that it's the authentication card. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what was in the box. We kind of had our own unboxing just now, guys, minus the bag, right? Let's actually look at the bag. So this is the small YSL Lulu, and I got it... Um, in the color dark beige and it's a very nude color i don't know if the lighting accurately reflects the color um or not i feel like when i back up some you can get a true sense of the color and when i get closer it gets kind of like washed out um but i definitely will show you guys some pictures um so that you can see like you know an outfit i've worn it with and you can kind of get a sense of the true color Okay, so for the bag itself, um, as previously stated, it is like in a pretty nude color and um, it has the classic YSL logo on here. Now, for those of you interested in purchasing the bag, I did want to share that the logo is not like in a shiny gold. It's more of like a bronze colors like a bronzy gold color which I love because if you looked at my um, unboxing for my YSL cake bag you would have noticed that it was like super shiny and loud and in your face this one is more subtle more laid back and I like that you know just to have you know something different another nice detail um, with this bag is that it has the matelassé 
um, stitching on it. And matelasse is just a kind of like French word um, that describes the stitching, like the quilt pattern. I don't know if you guys can see. It has that stitching in it. Um, and you'll see this type of stitching um, as well in other brands and bags. So for example, um, the Chanel Classic flat bag, it has that little stitching where it has like that quilted pattern. And another small little detail is, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's like a Y right here. The stitching is like a Y. And I thought that was such a small um, detail, but I like it as well. It's very like distinct. I like little things about bags. If you've like seen my collection, I love like slim simpler bags. Um, that aren't really like loud and in your face but they have like little small touches or little small details but it says um Salon paris on here on both of the handles and then um another detail is like on these little um ring looking things it says um Salon paris again not sure if you guys can see oh there you go it says Salon paris now can you get the handle can you yes are you oh it's upside down okay let me try it now. okay if you are on the market for this bag another thing to know is that it comes in several sizes so like i previously stated this is the small lulu and i honestly feel like it's not so small um it's more like if i were to kind of you know categorize it i would have called this the medium lulu um and they actually have a medium and that medium to me is kind of large so just keep that in mind if you're looking for this bag but it fits a lot we're gonna peek inside in a little bit but it fits um my iphone and i have an iphone 11 plus um, it fits my full size wallet like at maximum capacity when I have like the wallet stuff it fits in here and just to show you guys a comparison so this is my YSL um, cake bag it doesn't fit like a full size wallet and then this is the small Lulu bag and it does fit a full size wallet. Now, regarding the sizes, so if you're somebody that's into mini bags, this wouldn't be the bag of your choice. You would want to go with the Toy Lulu. The Toy Lulu is smaller than this. The only difference would be, um, other than size, it would be the fact that it doesn't have this, like, gold, goldish bronze chain it has like no chain at all instead it's just all leather so for me that was a deal breaker um i really like the little detail of um having the chain so i don't know it's really like a personal choice besides the toy lulu and the small lulu um the next size would be the medium lulu and um like i said the medium lulu to me um is more like a large so it's bigger than this and then after the medium Lulu, they have a large Lulu, which is gigantic. And I don't ever see myself using that. Again, I'm not like a big bad girl. But if you are, then that would be um, a perfect size for you. So now let's look at the interior of the bag. Um, so when you open it up, it looks just like this. And if you guys look inside, you'll see that I have some paper stuffed in there. This is the uh, paper it came with. And I have both um, sections of the bag stuffed. Um, and that's just because I take care of my bags. Um, I like to keep them in like pristine condition. So if you do get this bag, I suggest that as well. Also so that it can keep its shape because this bag is very plush. So as you can see, it's very squishy and... Um, I definitely suggest that you stuff it when you're not using it if you want it to, you know, keep its shape for a long time. On the inside, some details are right here. It says Celolan Paris. I don't know if it's too like dark in the bag, but it says Celolan Paris there as well. And then you have like these two compartments. So you have this compartment here and this compartment here. Okay, so here is my phone. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the bag. Okay, and you guys see I still have a lot of room in there. And then I have like more room in the front. So when I tell you guys, you know, in 
in name it's the small lulu but i honestly feel like it's not so small and then besides having the two compartments it also has like this third little section here you could put your lip gloss um eyeliner whatever else can fit in there in this little compartment so i put the paper back in just so that i don't forget but another thing i wanted to show you guys is um how it closes so it does have this magnetic little clasp and you just kind of put it in front and then it just kind of grips it and that's how it closed as you can see it's pretty secure nothing's gonna fall out and it's not super easy to get into so nobody could just like rob you you know they would have to like pull it back to get into it so yeah one more detail to show you guys is the inside is completely black and it's lined with like some black fabric now something else i like about this bag um is the fact that you can wear it multiple ways so as you can see you can wear it short and you can just wear it as um a shoulder bag the short way and sorry guys um you just wear it like this and then it falls like right here another way you can wear it on the shoulder is if you drop down a chain as you, let me show you guys so you see how it's like this you hold it with two right and then if you drop one down like this you can wear it y'all see that y'all see how these pants are falling off me your girl's losing some weight y'all okay um yeah so it falls down and i think it's like a decent size i'm like on my tiptoe so you guys can see but it falls kind of like right at my hip and then you can also do it cross body so you could cross it over and then you can just wear it like that let me back up so you guys can see but see if you want to wear it cross body like this it is a little bit higher up i would say i wish you could just like drop just like a little bit more but this is still doable so the last two things i'm going to share with you guys about the bag is how it wears and i'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about the color transfer so it wears pretty well i will say um, i'm not noticing like much sign of wear on the bag but i take care of my bags um so that could be you know a reason why also i've only had it for four months so i think to be fair i can review that maybe like in a year's time or later on down the line but so far it's good there's no like scuffing or any signs of aging or anything going on and then in terms of color transfer i know a couple of people have asked me about that because it's such a light colored bag and i haven't had any issues at all i've honestly just been pretty mindful of you know the clothes i'm wearing so if i'm wearing like some new jeans that i haven't washed yet then i wouldn't wear it with the bag i would make sure that before i wear the bag you know the clothes i'm wearing has been washed a few times um if it is like dark colored so again there's no color transfer i wear this a lot too it's not like it's something that's just sitting on my shelf like if you follow me on social media my instagram is b underscore russell and that's b-e-e -E underscore r-u-s-s-e-l-l -S -S -E you'll see that i use this bag i'm not scared to use it just because of the color so don't let the color stop you if you're interested in getting this bag in a light color all right guys so that completes today's video I have no clue I just put this bag on, but it feels right, so we're just going to go with it. Um, if you like this video, then show me that you liked it by pressing on the like button. Also, go ahead and comment down below. Let me know what you thought about today's video. Um, any interaction you guys do with my videos helps YouTube recommend me more to you guys. So if you like this content and you want to see more of your girl, then comment down below. And finally, don't forget to click on that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you guys can get notified every time I release a new video.